This will go over how to set up your Excel spreadsheet for importing customer locations using our plot data wizard, which we can be found in our adding to map section. So we'll just go ahead and take a look at an Excel spreadsheet that I've already set up. The important thing is to break up your data into separate columns, as we have here. What the program cares most about is your address information. You want to be sure that you break up your data into separate columns. You don't want to be sh you want to be sure not to have city and state in the same column. Just make sure everything is broken out. Another thing to note is you can plot by whatever data that you have. So if you have street address, that's great. Your points are going to be spread out on the map. If you don't have a uh, street address, but you have zip code and you just want to plot by zip, that's fine too. Just to have a simple spreadsheet with your zip code column and it's just going to plot them right in the middle of the zip code. One thing to note is if you have addresses, if you have multiple lines uh, with the same address, then essentially they're going to be plotted on top of each other. And so that's one thing to keep in mind if you're plotting by only zip. If you have many customer locations being plotted by one zip, then you're only going to see one dot on the, nap, the map initially. And when you click on that point, you're going to see a list of all the customers that are behind that location. Uh, in my data set, I have a customer name column, so I can identify them on the map, so that when I hover my mouse over a point, I can show that information. Uh, you can feel free to throw um, whatever type of data is important to you in the program. You can have account owner, uh, sales, uh, I use a customer type, and I also have a unique ID column. Unique ID isn't required, but that'll help you if you decide that you want to use our update data set process, which is included in the program. Just a brief description about that update data set is if you have a unique ID and there's non-repeating numbers and you assign a random number to everybody, there's a process in place in the program where you could later go back to your Excel spreadsheet, make some changes, save it in Excel, come back into the program, click an update data set button, and it'll look back to the spreadsheet and add or remove your information. So once again, just have everything broken up into separate columns and it's going to use whatever data is provided. When you're ready, you just come into the program and click on this plot data set button and you'll be able to bring in your Excel spreadsheet uh, and go from there. All right, thanks and have a great day.